Tonometry is the medical method used to measure the intraocular pressure. An instrument called tonometer is used for this purpose. It measures the tone and firmness of its surface. Tonometry is used to screen for glaucoma or increase pressure inside the eye and may be done as part of a regular eye examination. The normal range for eye pressure is between 10 to 21 millimeters of mercury. Undiagnosed glaucoma or ocular hypertension can lead to devastating effects. For this reason, glaucoma screening efforts and eye examinations during periodic physicals or health assessments are essential to its detection at the earliest possible stages. Most people with ocular hypertension do not experience any symptoms, and vision loss due to glaucoma can start with a subtle decrease in peripheral vision. When glaucoma is not diagnosed and treated, its progression can lead to loss of central vision and blindness. If a patient has an IOP higher than 21 and lacks signs of optic nerve damage, it can be said that he is suffering from ocular hypertension. That patient may be at risk for developing glaucoma over time. As the normal IOP can vary from person to person, keep in mind that about 40% of patients with damaged optic nerves due to glaucoma have normal IOP. Besides glaucoma, abnormal results obtained during tonometry may be due to eye trauma. Ocular hypertension can be associated with corneal arcus. The needed equipment includes anesthetic eye drops, the tonometer, and disposable tip covers for the tonometer. The most common types of tonometry are impression or chiots tonometry, electronic indentation tonometry, applanation Goldman tonometry, which requires the use of a slit lamp, non-contact air puff tonometry, useful for people who had LASIK surgery, and two more are dynamic contour tonometer and Perkins tonometer. Impression tonometry was the traditional method to determine intraocular pressure, or IOP. It measures the depth of indentation producing the cornea by a small plunger carrying a predetermined weight. The Chiot tonometer is the most common device of this kind, where extra weights can be added. The movement of the plunger is measured by a calibrated scale. This video will focus on another type, the electronic portable tonometer, which is currently the most commonly used in family medicine practice and urgent care. Clearly explain the procedure, its indications and risks to the patient. Apply one or two drops or anesthetic solution such as tetracaine in the eye. The patient can be lying supine or be in an upright sitting position. Ask the patient to stay relaxed and not to blink. And ask the patient to stare at a fixed spot on the wall. Use a new covering tip on the tonometer. For this purpose, roll it down and remove the paper base. Follow the manufacturer's steps to calibrate the tonometer until the word good appears in the window. Hold the device steady with your fingertips and gently touch the surface of the cornea. The transducer of the device will measure the eye's resistance to indentation. You will hear a clicking sound each time a reading is obtained. When three accurate readings have been obtained, a beep will sound and the device will display the intraocular pressure measurement. If the IOP is found elevated, further evaluate the patient by determining visual acuity and performing ophthalmoscopy. The patient should be evaluated by an ophthalmologist with tests such as agonioscopy and visual field testing. If a contact method is used, there is a small chance the cornea may be scratched. If this happens, this will normally heal itself within a few days. To avoid post-procedure complications when using local anesthetic, ask the patient to avoid using contact lenses and to avoid rubbing the eyes for two hours after the test. There is also a very small possibility of having an allergic reaction to the anesthetic agent.
it would be advised to defer the IOP measurement in patients who have eye infection, extreme myopia, have an irregularly shaped cornea, have a history of major surgery in the eye, and for impression tonometry, to have a history of laser refractive surgery.